Hey friends, and welcome back to Everyone Loves Lucy, the Axolotl. Let's talk a little bit about what Lucy is. How does she fall into the animal categories? Well, she's technically an amphibian. And remember, amphibian means um, that these animals go through a life in the water and life outside of the water. However, different from most amphibians, she has to spend all of her life in water. She has external gills, um, so she does not, did not develop lungs. She is like a salamander, but she never completed metamorphosis, which is the life cycle of the salamander. And you're gonna learn more about that as you follow along with us in our journey on what is Lucy the axolotl. Before we get started, let's say hey to our girl. Um, She's just chilling like a villain down here. Uh, her air bubble, bubbler is over here on this side, and that provides extra oxygen in the tank, um, keeps stuff moving. One of the hardest parts of taking care of the axolotl family um, and the critters that come along with that is balancing their water. You know, they might label it as an easy animal, and eventually it is easy. But there was, oh, look, she yawned. How cute was that? Uh, but there's a huge learning curve, and that was something that my family and I had to learn along the way, was how in the world we take care of this creature. And when we got her, she was the size of my pinky, and you'll see some pictures coming up soon of baby axolotl Lucy, and as you can see, now she's pretty big. Um, so there we go. Hey, Lucy girl, we love you. All right, let's learn about amphibians and salamanders and axolotls. If you know anything about me, you know that my hobby is um, going to play in the creeks in North Georgia and catching all the critters. And along the way, as I've done that, salamanders have become one of my favorite animals. So naturally we moved and decided to get our own salamander, Lucy the axolotl. Here's some examples of other salamanders. I'm and frogs and amphibians, all that fall under this amphibian category. All right, so again, what is an axolotl? Well, axolotls are very similar to salamanders. The difference between an axolotl and a salamander you would catch in the creeks up in North Georgia is that the axolotls never made it all the way through the metamorphosis um, or the life cycle of turning into an adult. They got stuck in the larvae state. And that's what Lucy is. Lucy is stuck in the larvae state. Um, this whole entire part, this, all these creatures are stuck, all these axolotls are stuck at that phase. And there's been a lot of different um, people who come out and say, maybe it was due to pollution or this or that or a gene mutation. And Honestly, I'm no expert in the field of axolotls. I'm learning a lot of this as we go. So for now, I guess we'll find out in the next couple of videos. Why are they stuck? What caused that? I don't know. If you know, pop me an email at everyonelovesLucy at gmail.com. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. So again, what is Lucy? Lucy is an axolotl. She falls into the amphibian category. And under that, she's very similar to a salamander. She just didn't make it through the complete life cycle. She's stuck in that larvae state. Um, in the larvae state, as an axolotl, you can still reproduce and create eggs that will hatch into other axolotls. And when we got her, she was the size of my pinky. So maybe in the next video, you'll get to see one of the original pictures of when Lucy came home. I hope you learned a little bit. Again, today's topic, what is Lucy the axolotl? How does this all kind of go into each other um, for learning? Well, today we learned that axolotls did not make it through the entire life cycle of a salamander. Instead, they stopped at the larvae phase, and that's where they stay. So that's how they're very similar to those salamanders. And we also learned that axolotls fall into the amphibian category. See you soon!